All right, welcome back to a, another math video. Today we're gonna jump in the quadratics and functions equations unit um, in Algebra 1 in Khan Academy. And we'll go ahead and start with the first lesson, um, Parabola's intro. Feel free to take notes as we as we do today's lesson. Um, there's a lot of lot of vocab, I guess, type, type things. First question says, which parabola is open up? Okay, and um, we're gonna go ahead and make a quick note here. And when we talk about opening up or down, we're talking about concavity. And concavity is just a fancy word saying which way does the parabola open. And so we can use this, this visual diagram. So up, okay, the makes a U. And when it opens down, when it concaves down, it makes an N. And so we're going to select all the ones that open up. So we're looking for all the ones in this example that look like a U. So let's go ahead and mark them. That's an N. That's a U. That's a U. Boom. Done. Okay, this question is asking us to draw a the parabola's axis of symmetry. Okay, so the axis of symmetry is the exact middle of the graph. It's a blue line. And it's always x equals some number. And an easy hint for remembering is just finding the x value of the vertex. And the vertex is just where the graph bends. So when you look at this graph, it begins to bend right here. This is where it bends. And that is actually the vertex. And the x value of that vertex is negative 3. And so the, the equation for the line of symmetry here is actually x equals negative 3. Because that is the that is the middle, that is the exact middle of the parabola. So we're just gonna drag these two dots in line with x equals negative 3. So let's go ahead and do that now. So put one on the vertex and then I can put the other one anywhere I want as long as it's a straight line just like that. So vertex, will, the line of symmetry will always be a vertical line. Okay, this question asks us to mark the vertex, okay? And just like we, we discussed in the previous example, the vertex is the point where the graph bends. And so when we look at this line, this, this parabola, okay, it, be, it bends right exactly where the vertex is, two for x and negative four for y. So we're just gonna dot that point right there. Okay, here it says, which parabola has exactly one x-intercept? So we've got the y, intercepts and we've got the x intercepts so we're looking for how many times the blue line crosses this x axis. This one has one and two. So we're looking for where it has exactly one. This parabola right here has none. It never crosses the x intercept the x axis, so it has zero x intercepts. And this third one comes down and it touches once and then it goes straight back up. So this will be the one that we select for the question. Graph a parabola whose vertex is at 3, 5, and has a y-intercept of 1. So I'm going to go ahead and move this point out of the way right now, and I'm going to graph this one as the vertex. So the vertex is 3 for x, move it in line with 3 for x, and in line with 5 for y. So I don't want to go down because that would be negative 5, I want to move up to positive 5, boom. So that's the vertex. Now I've got to graph this second point, the y-intercept. I'm going to take it all the way over here to the y. And we want a y-intercept equal to 1. So that's 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Graph a parabola whose x-intercepts are at x equals negative 3 and 5. And whose minimum value is negative 4. So, know that one of these points will be the x-intercept, but we can't put them both as the x-intercepts because if we did that, we'd just have a flat line. And so we need one of these two points to be the vertex. So we know that one of these points has to be the vertex, and we know that the vertex has a y value of negative four, but we're not sure exactly what the x value is, so we can't just put the, the dot at negative four because we don't know where on negative four um, we need to, but we do know that the vertex is halfway 
between all between two points that are even with each other. So we know the vertex is going to be halfway between our two x-intercepts. Um, that will always be the case. So we have x-intercept 1 and x-intercept 2, and we know the vertex is going to be in the middle. And so we've got to figure out what the middle is of these two points. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So if these are 8 units apart from each other, and we want the middle of that, we would divide by 2, and we would get 4 units. And now we're just going to count from one of these numbers, four units. So one, two, three, four would be right here. Let's see if we counted from the other way, if that'd be true. One, two, three, four. So this is the the exact middle of this, this value, one for x, um, which means that the vertex has to be in line with it. So we know now the vertex is positive one for x and negative four for y. So let's go ahead and graph now. Go ahead and drop this even with 1 for x and negative 4 for y. And then we can either put this at 5 or negative 3. Either way, um, we have options for that second point. Last question. It says uh, parabola intersects the x-axis at 3 and 9. What is the x-coordinate of the vertex? So similar to the last question, we know that the uh, x value for the vertex is going to be halfway between two points that are in line with each other, so between 3 and 9. We're looking for this, this halfway point, right? And so an easy way for me to, to figure out the halfway point is to take 9 and subtract 3 from it. So there's 6 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's 6 units between these, these uh, x-intercepts. And halfway between halfway of or half a six will be three so we just got to count three units so we got one that'll be four two that'll be five three that'd be six so six six is the halfway point for our vertex so the x coordinate would be six let's go ahead and type it in Boom. And that's how you do Parabola's intro. Good luck.